now let's talk in more detail about atlas reasoning engine so we know that atlas reasoning engine is the brain of agent force we always keep saying that it atlas is the brain atlas is the brain atlas is the brain so what does that actually means so let's talk about human brain first we know that human brain empowers humans to think to learn and to evaluate in some complex actions right so the same way atlas reasoning engine also empowers agent force ai agents to learn to think and to engage in some different different complex uh, decisions right so that is what agent for, uh, that is what the brain is right so here is a diagram of atlas reasoning engine that how it works so here are few steps the first step is to retrieve right so say, uh, so the atlas reasoning engine always starts with retrieving data pull data uh from data cloud uh, whether it is a structured data or unstructured data right then based on that data it will create a plan of action and based on that plan of action it will evaluate whether the outcome will be uh, whether that outcome is right or not right if the outcome is not right it will loop back and if the uh, if the outcome will be, uh, if the outcome is right then it will perform that action right and before performing that action it, it will refine that particular outcome right so this is how uh, atlas reasoning engine works correct now let's talk about uh, the core capabilities of salesforce atlas reasoning engine the first capability is reasoning capability then we have at, uh, advanced retrieval mechanics mechanism and then guard rails and protection then reinforcement and learning now let's talk about them one by one so the first is reasoning capabilities so it allows the system to think plan and act autonomously just like a human being so just like a human can think a human can plan and act this also allows the system it also allows the agents to think plan and act right so atlas does not follow any instruction it figures out the right way to approach each task by diving into the details of the most relevant data right so when we say that atlas starts by um, atlas starts by pulling out the structured and unstructured data from data cloud so now it has uh, it can have millions of records right it can have multiple data right so it does not only follow your instructions right it can automatically figure out that which data to pull which action to perform right and which instruction to follow so it have those capabilities and atlas also evaluates its action in real time for better customer experiences so when we say that it can uh, evaluate in real time what does that mean so whenever you give a prompt and atlas receives an output right so it can learn from those outputs it can learn from those prompts right so this is what we call as in real time right so atlas keeps improving itself uh, by learning from the outcomes and inputs from for from for the customer inputs right uh, now let's talk about uh, the next one which is advanced retrieval mechanics so what does that mean so at atlas uses retrieval augmented generation right which is also called as RAG in short form. So Atlas uses that RAG to access versatile data sets from various connected sources and identify the most relevant information, right? So Atlas, when we say that Atlas can retrieve the data from data cloud, uh, not just by data cloud, uh, at, even Atlas is uh, retrieving the data from multiple, uh, multiple sources, it can still identify which data is the most relevant uh, for that user prompt, right? And Atlas also delivers more consistently accurate answers, which reduces the risk of uh, AI mistakes and hallucinations, right? So, uh, so the Atlas reasoning engine has some advanced retrieval mechanics. Uh, whether it is uh, retrieving the data from one source or multiple sources, it can still identify which data is more relevant to that more relevant to the user right uh, now the next is guardrails and protection guardrails is nothing but a boundary of anything right so as concern about a governance in evolve, evolve salesforce is ensuring that atlas engine can adhere adhere to evolving ethical and organization expectations with built-in guardrails right so atlas reasoning engine is uh, created with more security and some guardrails we know that uh, nowadays uh, 
people are not trusting ai right but salesforce has made sure that atlas is not crossing that limits right this is how salesforce built atlas is the engine these guardrails ensures that when salesforce atlas encounters a scenario outside outside of its uh, defined limits it knows to escalate the task to a human so what happens let's say i have a boundary created for me i cannot go outside that boundary right uh, to for, for anything right now let's suppose there is a boundary and into that boundary there is an atlas reasoning engine and now any circumstances or any any conditions may occur for that uh, atlas can go beyond, beyond the boundary right so what atlas will do atlas will just uh, atlas will just uh, escalate that particular task to a human agent right or look for extra classification so at but atlas will not go beyond that boundary right this is how atlas is uh, configured right they they can that cannot go beyond the boundary now atlas or let's say the agent force agents can have the standard uh, standard actions to uh, escalate the task to a human right so salesforce has created some actions to escalate the task so whenever uh, atlas thinks that this is beyond my boundary it will just escalate that task that task to a human agent right then we have uh, the reinforcement learning while many ai systems still rely on human feedbacks to improve atlas takes things to a step further by learning from customer experiences so there are many uh, many ais available out there right so all the ais not all but many of uh, those ais uh, learn from the customer feedback or depends on the customer feedback to improve right but uh, this atlas reasoning engine improves him, improves itself right by the customer outcomes whether it's increasing sales conversation or resolving uh, resolving service issues atlas refines its decision making based on real real world results so as much as you you will use atlas reasoning engine it will improve itself just by your uh, your task right uh, if you are uh, closing some sales if you are increasing some sales or resolving some customer issues using that agent force ai agents that atlas reasoning engine the brain of agents will auto evolve themselves right so let's talk, talk about a human how a human evolves right so when uh, when you talk to someone what happens you keep that uh, context of the talk in mind right so the uh, and mind can uh, relevantly learn from that particular topic right the same way atlas works right so if you are resolving any service issue as much as you are using that atlas it will evolve itself and atlas also has the ability to learn and improve so atlas always keeps learning uh, if you are using atlas it will keep learning and improve itself